Tonight's venue couldn't be more perfectly suited for some swinging sex. It belongs to friends and fellow swingers Ken and Danielle, whose decor seems perfect for setting the mood. Well, I had an interior designer come over to sit. Are those elephants? <laughs> <laughs> we operate a and b out of our home normally, but on party nights, we create a little more of an erotic atmosphere. We were told that this would be a great venue for parties. So we created a room with three beds in the bunk bed with the draw around curtain so people could have space. If the shears are drawn, this is a look, don't touch, so people can watch, but they can't participate. If it's drawn all the way around, this is solid curtains, and then all we can do is listen. And another specialty item we have here is our glory bunk. So when someone lays down on the bunk, their personal selves can come through and be fondled by any number of people underneath. And it is a tremendous experience. It's very popular. The bunk beds might not be the only place for fondling tonight. Because across town, Courtney's hoping her cleavage-boosting bodice will lure the other woman of their dreams. So ground rules are no dudes. Talk about everything. Have fun. Don't get based. But Blaine's already wary of their hostess Jen's intentions. 